Prophet Muhammad as a teacher and educator. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, by an act of mercy from Allah, you Prophet were gentle in your dealings with others, with them. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best example of humanity in terms of excellent education and teaching. He, peace be upon him, was a teacher blessed with his mercy and an educator blessed with his kindness. He, peace be upon him, said, Allah did not send me to be harsh or cause harm, but send me to teach and make things easy. And said, compassion is not to be found in anything, but that is it adorn it and is not withdrawn from anything, but it is disfigures it. When contemplate when contemplating the life of our Prophet, peace be upon him, one find that he was the best teacher for his companion and for all humanity, and that he, peace be upon him, was the most merciful person to all creature. He was, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, compassionate towards those whom he learns and guides. Muawiyah ibn al-Hakam once reported, while I was in a prayer with Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, a man in the congregation sneezed, and I responded with, Yarhamuk Allah, may Allah have mercy in you. People start, people stirred at me with disproving looks. So I said, may my mother lose me? Why are you staring at me? Thereupon they began to strike their sight with their hands. When I saw them urge, urging to me to remain silent, I become angry but restrained myself. When Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, concluded his prayers, I never, I have never before seen an instructor who gave better instruction than him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May my father and my mother be sacrificed for him. He neither blamed me, nor beat me, nor abused me. He simply said, it is not permissible to talk during prayer because it consists of glorifying Allah, declaring his greatness, as well as reciting of the Quran. Abu Umama reported, a young man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he said, O Messenger of Allah, Give me permission to, com to commit adultery. The people turned to rebuke him. The people turned to rebuke him, saying, Be quiet, be quiet. The Prophet وسلم, said, Come here. The young man came close and he told him to sit down. The Prophet said, Would you like that for your mother? The man said, No. By Allah, may I be sacrificed for you? The Prophet said, neither would people like it for their mothers. Would you like it for your daughter? The man said, no, by Allah may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, neither would people like it for their daughters. Would you like it for your sister? The man said, no, by Allah may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, neither would people like it for their sisters. Would you like that for your aunt? The man said, no, by Allah, may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, neither would people like it for their aunt. Then the Prophet placed his hand on him and he said, O oh Allah, forgive his sins, purify his heart and guard his chastity. After that, the young man never again inclined to anything sinful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the whole worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. When studying the life of our Prophet, peace be upon him, one finds that he used to diversify his techniques in education and da'wah, using the all communication skills in order to reach the recipient's mind and heart. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, sometimes used numbers for mental comprehension, such as he's saying, there are three qualities, whoever had them will taste the sweetness of faith. To love Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him, more than anyone else. To love a person only for the sake of Allah. And to abhor re returning to, a, to an infidelity after Allah has saved him from it as he would abhor to be thrown into the, the fire of hell. Sometimes his, he be upon him would use to giving illustrative examples such as his saying the similitude of a good company and that of a bad company is that of the owner of mosque and of the one blowing the pillows means blacksmith. The owner of mosque would neither offer you some free of a charge or you would buy it from him or you smell its pleasant fragrance. And for the one who bellow the billows, he neither burn your clothes, he neither burn your clothes or you smell a bad smell. Other time he be spe upon him, you the integrative style by giving a question to attract the listener attention. Just as in his saying, Do you know who is the bankrupt? They said the bankrupt among us is the one who has neither money with him nor any property. He said, the real bankrupt of my nation would be he would come on the day of resurrection with a prayer, fasting, and charity, but he will find himself bankrupt on that day as he will have exhausted the good deeds because he re revealed the others brought calumny against others, unlawfully devoured the wealth of others, shed the blood of others, and beat others. So his good deeds would be credited to the account of those who suffered at his hand. If his good deeds fell short to clear the account, their sin would be entered in his account and he would be thrown in the hellfire. Moreover, he be upon him, used to choose the appropriate days and times for giving instructions to refrain the mind of the recipients and to ward of boredom. As Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, used to take care of us in preaching by selecting suitable time so that we might not get bored. How much we are in need in following the example of the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, as teachers and learners in order to disseminate his message, showing his guidance and sharing his knowledge and tradition. May Allah grant us to knowledge the, and ethics and guide us to follow the example of our Prophet Thank you so much.